Surprise. Uh, so I think as really the only presenter um, going home with the Hall of Famer, I should definitely say something nice. Um, so I'm the man behind the girl. Uh, I began dating Kim back in college. I was on the baseball team and after realizing the pretty captain liked me, I, uh, I started following the team more and more. I uh, started traveling with them and sort of became like their own mascot in certain ways. Um, and I could tell right from the start she had a lot of different intangibles that you would need. A coach, well, there's a room full of coaches. Coach Seth uh, talked about Johnny, it's a couple of Hall of Famers compared to like, I don't know, 10 different Hall of Famers there. Uh, I would compare Kim to probably Derek Jeter. You know, he never won a batting title, never hit 30 home runs, but he had certain intangibles that really set him apart and sort of helped, you know, lead his team. Uh, and that was certainly Kim. She was a natural leader, tireless work ethic, and she wore several hats. Uh, most frequently, she was sort of serving as the coach on the field. Uh, a team captain, graduating summa cum laude. I think that's right. Uh, a member of the Student Athletic Advisory Committee. She was a leader both on and off the field. One of the first members of the original women's soccer team. There's the other one right there. Uh, she was instrumental in transforming the girls team from an inaugural group of girls to a, a perennial playoff team. Uh, both on def uh, being on defense, her, su her success wasn't measured by goals or assists, but by wins. She played through injury, and then she left everything she had on the field. Now, 10 years since her last game, Kim is still wearing many hats. A lawyer, wife, mother, and to nobody's surprise, coach. I still have a front row seat, and I still travel all over to watch the games. Uh, it's been an incredible ride since, our, since we started dating. Uh, we've moved out of the Linden dorms, uh, so, uh, but I think tonight is, I think tonight's a great way to sort of celebrate, you know, Kim and her accomplishments and where the, the team has gone uh, since their first game. So without further ado, I'm, I'm honored to present my wife uh, and your Hall of Famer, Kim Scrio Boucher. Wow, that was a big surprise. Um, I'm unfortunately gonna end up reading because I'm very nervous, but first, um, I'd like to thank the FDU athletic community for the honor of being inducted into the university's Hall of Fame and for the impact that so many of you made on my life during my tenure here. Um, I'd also like to thank my family, including my parents, my sisters, my extended family, my in-laws, and my biggest fan, my husband, whose love, support, and guidance have provided me throughout the years. I'd also like to extend my congratulations to my fellow inductees, and especially to Johnny and Kelly, um, who both stood up here and said they were shocked by the honor and they couldn't believe it, but I knew it. I knew they'd always be here. I knew they would be on this podium one day. I just never thought I'd have the honor to be with them. So. Congratulations to you guys. 14 years ago, when I made the decision to attend Fairleigh Dickinson and to play Division I college soccer, I could have never imagined the impact that it would have had on my life. At the young age, and dare I admit, naive age of 18, I, the idea of being part of the first ever women's soccer team was just thrilling. It overshadowed everything. I had rose-colored glasses. I dove first, head first into the idea of thinking about the challenge, and never thinking about the challenges the decisions would, that decision would bring. I was thrilled to have the opportunity to be a starter on a Division I team. Shortly after setting foot on the playing field for the first time, reality smacked me in the face, and I realized it wouldn't be all rainbows and roses. It was going to be serious hard work, and it was as Kelly attested to. Um, we lost nearly every single game our first year. Our record was 2, 16, 
and won. We spent 90 minutes in almost every game scrambling and scrapping just to survive. I remember our bench, 13 players deep if, if even, and Angelina reminded me of one particular game. She sat at the end of our bench to almost make it look a little bit more full than it actually was. <laughs> and our goal that year was just to survive and to be respectable. And I have to admit, it was a respectable year. We didn't suffer one blowout that year. I think a lesser team may have. But we may not have had the most talented group of players. But we had fighters, and we had a great team, a team that was there for one another, embodied the true attribute of teamwork. Each subsequent year after that first season, things got surprisingly better, that by the, end of the, time, by the time the program reached its third year, we qualified for the conference playoffs. And in our fourth year, we finished the season winning the ECAC championship and defeating Fordham University in the finals. What we achieved in those first four years of the program's history was remarkable, and I'm proud to have been a part of it. And now as I reflect on my four years here and I think of the best way to sum it up, I would describe my experiences on the field as a microcosm of life. That is, every skill that was vital to success of our team is a skill that is vital and essential to the success in my everyday life. Hard work, commitment, teamwork, passion, and perseverance, to name a few. So as I stand here tonight accepting this incredible honor, I do so with the gratitude to this university for having given me the opportunity to be part of something truly special and for fostering an environment where I could grow as a student athlete and gain the confidence and courage to strive for excellence throughout my life. At 18 years old, I naively accepted the challenge of being part of the women's soccer program's infancy. But 14 years later, when presented with opportunity of taking the road less traveled, I do so with my eyes open, understanding that choosing a new or different path will undoubtedly be difficult. But I do so with the knowledge that with hard work and perseverance, I can and will succeed just as the FDU women's soccer program has. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.